Hello folks, this is Fat Guy Flies RC, a little something different today. Um, showing, I just made an earlier today the Seagull. Uh, I purchased it from uh, uh, Value Hobby out of Illinois. Um, but that's the Seagull. Now, you, of course, you don't look at my messy, messy uh, <laughs> workbench, but that's where I work on everything. And believe it or not, I know where everything's at. But yeah, that's the Seagull. Um, like I said, now it's the, my very first time I've ever done an electric ARF. This literally was only the, uh, um, excuse me, I'm going, doing this for my phone. Literally the first time I've ever done an electric ARF. And uh, it's kind of cool. It's got a little hatch here that's magnetic. Inside there, I've installed a Velcro strap for your battery. And... Uh, Put your uh, 2200 will fit really good right about right in this area here. Back here is my receiver. I have mounted the um, ESC with two sided tape directly underneath, uh, up underneath here. Because if you look, this has a wide opening here. All that air travels in there and vents a lot, a lot of the uh, heat out and uh, shoves all there. I've got a, a uh, I guess it's called X Roar wooden electric nine by six prop on there that seems to be doing really well got a ar ar 36 a receiver spectrum receiver in there that uh just have just a3x only well i do actually no i know I'm, I'm lying to you i do have safe on it but i have it programmed i believe as a timber and it seems to work pretty good for this um the pontoons are I guess they're called pontoons. They work for this. All the, the whole thing just snaps together. Everything just snaps together and glues together. Um, there's a few things you need to glue. Um, now, one of the glue that I've been really having good luck with with models is this Gorilla Clear Grip. It it uh, gets tacky and sticky in a few uh, moments, and does a really good job and i i did a test on some old foam overnight it did not damage the foam at all and it seems to do real well but anyways back to the uh seagull basically it's the same thing as the fly zone tide craft it is the old it's the same thing um with all the upgrades they did the uh, it has a nylon bolt here and two nylon bolts that holds the motor pod together it has a plastic belly skid, and I've got some black packing tape on there. Uh, it's got these really cool um, servo protectors that they just glue right on. The uh, rudder bolts on down here, along with you know, the air, uh, air rudder, but the water rudder bolts on. And this is all this is down plastic down here, so it's got a really good grip, really secure. Um, like I said, I test uh, flew her today of a maiden, not the best maiden in the world. I really need to work on some trim issues. Um, I really didn't have much time to really film and give another couple. So I'm going to get this out again, probably take it off on land, uh, maybe give you all a little bit better of a video. But anyways, there it is. Um, and lots of people have asked me about uh, polyacrylic and spray on. Uh, protect, per, oh, sorry, protection that right there, if you can see it. That poly acrylic clear gloss. This is what I use to spray on a lot of my models. I haven't done a few models, but that's why I use poly acrylic. My min wax, it's about no, oh, anywhere from seven to eleven dollars for a can, depend. And you can get oh, several models out of one can, but uh, anyways, that's that. And there again, there's all my my ridiculous hobby of <laughs> all my planes and everything. Yeah, I, there's my charger. And uh, well, anyways, that's the Seagull. And uh, like I say, that's my latest addition to my hangar. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And God bless. And hello.